Hello, Dave Burdick here, product manager of our ProjectWise powered by iTwin Digital Delivery Solution. Today I'm going to share with you how ProjectWise can supercharge and accelerate delivery success of your infrastructure projects. This presentation will focus in on the digital design delivery aspect of our ProjectWise solution, which is one of the four key ProjectWise success pillars. This presentation will cover three key issues. First, I will talk about how digital twins are reshaping infrastructure project delivery and some of the benefits that Bentley customers are reporting by adopting data-centric digital twin workflows. Second, we will examine the key challenges involving hybrid, file-centric, and data-centric workflows, and I will share three key success goals we've learned from our customers. And then finally, I will drill down and demonstrate some of the key features and capabilities of our digital delivery solution. As many of you listening no doubt already know, project delivery is undergoing a fundamental transformation from file-based, document-centric workflows into more data and model-driven workflow styles. And at the heart of this transformation is the concept of digital twins. Bentley defines a digital twin as a synchronized virtual representation of a real-world asset. It's a digital version of reality that is continuously updated. The infrastructure digital twin vision encompasses the goal of being able to work more effectively and achieve better outcomes by leveraging information across the entire design, build, and operations product lifecycle. There are two fundamental aspects to the digital twin vision. First is a commitment to design and deliver using a rich 3D context. This means adopting and institutionalizing 3D model-centric design authoring tools and connecting this into a geospatially located digital twin that is shareable by all stakeholders on the cloud. Using this approach, you can then take all the different data types and the artifacts at whatever maturity level they are to glue them together inside the digital twin. They can be maps, reality models, terrains, and subsurface data, as well as your drawings and your models. The second key aspect is information agility. This allows you to leverage the information in the digital twin across the entire project lifecycle. It allows you to go faster and deliver projects with higher quality and less cost. To do this, you need to have the right information connected to the right people delivered in the right format to make better decisions. There was a very interesting study conducted by AEC advisors where they asked the ENR top 100 companies how they saw the mix and priority of project delivery technologies changing over the next three years. As you can see by this chart, there's a strong expectation that project delivery is going to shift in a major way towards data-driven 3D models and digital twins. And we're seeing the exact same trend as well, although we believe the shift is not going to be a full abandonment of file and document-centric workflows. Rather, we believe the vast majority of projects will adopt more of a hybrid approach into what we call data-driven but file-friendly workflows, which I'll speak more about in a moment. Although we're still pretty early in the transition to data-centric digital twins, there's very significant evidence that the benefits are substantial. These are some of the key business benefits reported by Bentley Urine Infrastructure Project submissions, which include a 25% reduction in design costs by eliminating waste and duplication, a 56% decrease in project delivery handoff times by leveraging the ability to provide a complete digital asset repository, and a 90% reduction in design errors via automated validation and issues resolution. By the way, this is probably the most fertile area for big paybacks. By being able to uncover and solve small problems early in the design process, you save huge amounts of money if those problems are uncovered and reworked downstream in construction or operations. So the bottom line here is that data-centric digital delivery is not some pie-in-the-sky theory. It's delivering strong and, in some cases, transformational business benefits. But you don't have to take my word for it. 
If you visit the Year in Infrastructure website, you're going to find lots of winning examples of digital project delivery successes in each of the project yearbooks. Each yearbook is a well-documented and richly illustrated compendium of the world's best and most innovative infrastructure projects. Best of all, this information is free. Also, mark your calendars for this October for the 2023 Year in Infrastructure Awards. And to learn more about this year's event, please feel free to visit the YII Going Digital Awards website. Let's dive into our second key issue and discuss the key challenges in going digital and bridging the divide between file-centric and data-driven workflows. As I mentioned previously, Bentley believes that going digital does not mean abandoning your file and document-centric workflows. On the contrary, our view is that the project delivery world going forward is going to resemble more of a hybrid approach. Why? Because if you want to create great digital twins, it requires access to great digital data. And where is that digital data located? It's inside all of your engineering files and documents. And if you want to create high-quality digital twins, you are already one step ahead of the game if you're using project-wise design integration to ensure data quality and timeliness. What's new here is that we have dramatically improved the ability for you to create high-quality digital twins directly from your project-wise DI data sources, which I'm going to talk more about in a moment. So what we're driving towards here is the ability for you to press the easy button, if you will, which automatically extracts a data-centric content from your files, 3D models, and BIM data, and uses this to create pixel-perfect 3D digital twins that are properly geolocated and contain the most up-to-date data from your engineering processes. So the bottom line here is that, yes, we do want to become more data-centric in our project delivery process, but to do this most effectively, we also need to be file-friendly. The second key success imperative for implementing digital delivery is to commit to 3D model-based design authoring. You're not going to move the needle much by standing up digital twins as a web-based drawing checking tool. If you're using project-wise design integration today, chances are you already have a well-oiled process for validating your CAD files and drawings. So we don't want to replicate what we're already doing and doing successfully. Instead, the idea here is to extend and enrich your project delivery competitiveness by leveraging new capabilities, all of which can only be achieved via a 3D modeling authoring foundation. Yes, in the past, the benefits of adopting 3D modeling were more niche-oriented for things like structural analysis or site survey work. With Digital Twins, however, the benefits of using model-based design are deep and wide-ranging. If you're looking to supercharge your change management process, then web-based federated model design reviews and round-trip issues resolution with 3D markup is something you should seriously consider. Do you want to compress the time it takes to get cost-effective tenders or work more effectively with suppliers? Digital twins are really great for this. Are you looking to catch and solve design problems early and avoid costly downstream rework and downtime? Then check out the amazing advanced civil validation and clash tools. And finally, if you're looking to leverage lessons learned and reuse your models, digital twins provide the perfect platform for turning your IP into component catalogs and leverageable insights. So the bottom line here is that if you want to reap the benefits of digital delivery, a 3D modeling authoring foundation is a must-have requirement. The third key challenge to conquer is to avoid treating the move towards digital project delivery as a big bang moonshot program. It's great to think big here and to rally the troops around the vision of digital project delivery, but generally, the most successful approach we've seen is to start small and build on these small successes to achieve a larger, more wine-ranging success. The formula and recipe that we've observed as being most successful is to start with people, technology, and then process. And the order of this, I think, is important. Traditionally, it's always been fashionable to take a group of people and to look to fix or enhance existing processes and then find the right technologies to automate the new process. But this almost always leads to suboptimal results. Why? Because it ignores the art of the possible and the flashes of clarity that often occurs when first giving people access to a new technology and then letting them experiment and discover. 
The new opportunities generally come forth only when people are unshackled from the process constraints and biases of the past. This is not to say that working with traditional file-centric processes is not relevant here. In fact, it's quite the opposite. For the most part, if you're using ProjectWise DI, you've already mastered the art of the possible for engineering WIP. What we're saying here is, let's put more energy looking forward and standing up a digital twin-based process and then work to integrate the 2D drawing and sheet workflows into this downstream. Which, by the way, you're going to hear a lot more about integrating 2D sheet workflows and digital twins that you're in infrastructure. So the bottom line here is, first, pull together the empowered team. Secondly, arm them with good technology and get really, really good at creating eye models and digital twins. And then finally, pick a color. Most users generally start at 12 o'clock with web-based design reviews and then work clockwise to attack these other areas. Okay, so let's get into some of the fun stuff and show you some of the features and capabilities of ProjectWise powered by iTwin. As many of you know, we introduced ProjectWise powered by iTwin about three months ago. And I want to thank all of you who participated in our early access program. Your input to this was extremely useful and valuable, so thank you again. So let's walk through some of these key new capabilities. One of the biggest improvements we've made is to make the process of creating web-based eye models from ProjectWise much easier and much more robust. My colleague Mark Hollywell has a whole session on this here at the Virtual ProjectWise conference, so I'd invite you to tune in to his session to learn more. But Mark and the ProjectWise team have done really outstanding work here and improved the process in a number of important ways. First of all, the information going into the eye model is much richer and offers higher fidelity because we can now bring across all of the workspace information. So things like fonts and line styles and attributes are now coming across in addition to the geometry. You can now create eye models using ProjectWise's beloved save search capability. So for example, I might have a save search that gathers all models in a project or folder that have reached the publish status, and then use that as a script for pushing the correct models into the iTwin. We now also support bringing across the project-wise metadata into the iTwin. So when you select a model or object in the iTwin, you can see the associated project-wise metadata. And finally, when things go awry, which hopefully they never will, we have a much more useful and descriptive reporting and logging mechanism iModel Review is our cloud-based solution for sharing federated digital twin eye models on the web and conducting multidiscipline design reviews. We now support over 40 different CAD and modeling format connectors, including, of course, all the Bentley apps, as well as Autodesk, Trimble, and others. Once inside a design review, users can navigate and interrogate models, use the measuring tools, and create custom visualizations using any BIM property, and also examine changes and updates using version compare. With our latest July 2023 update, we have enhanced the user experience with a more modernized UI that provides dockable dialog boxes in Windows. We've added support for the project-wise powered by iTwin personas that only reveals capabilities that are aligned with each of the manage, engineer, and validate personas. And then finally, we have fully integrated the forms dialog into iModel Review, so you now have access to all form types in the UI, not just issues. One of the core capabilities of ProjectWise powered by iTwin is our 3D web-based round-trip issues resolution. This allows you to define issues, create 3D markups, assign and notify users for corrective action, and then round-trip the issue into the source CAD system. And not just Bentley systems, but Autodesk as well. Here you solve the issue and then push the change back into the iTwin. And with the new forms dialog and design review, it makes navigating and tracking issues much easier. We've done a lot of work on enhancing and improving our federated clash detection capability. Uh, it's now fully integrated into the iModel Design Review interface so that you can set up jobs, run clashes, and then view clash results all within the same interface. We've also added clash clusters, which aggregates all clashes of a given object into a single group. This makes it much easier to create and assign issues. Issues creation is also now much more streamlined and integrated into the clash UI. And at the upcoming Year in Infrastructure conference later this year, we'll be introducing some new 
functionality for Clash, including Clash grouping as well as Clash statusing, so stay tuned for that. One of our really killer features is the advanced civil validation tools, which provide a whole toolbox of capabilities for things like profiles and sectioning, bridge clearance, super elevations, advanced design checking and validation using things like the ASHTO standards, and the always fun and valuable drive tool shown here. So with the drive tool, you simply select an alignment, you indicate a, an eye height, and then you press play and you can see the actual line of sight with the car traveling down the actual corridor. Of course, if you really want to animate and bring your eye twins to life, you can use our Luminar T visualization solution, which works seamlessly with infrastructure cloud, including ProjectWise powered by iTwin and Synchro. So with Luminar T, you can produce amazing images and videos, perform VR walkthroughs, and build realistic traffic and pedestrian animations. A few months back, we also introduced our new Luminar T for Omniverse solution, which amps up visualization to a whole new level of realism and performance. It also allows you to dynamically sync iTwin model changes directly into the visualization so that for the first time, the visualization is now perfectly in sync with the project delivery eye model. This summer, we will be releasing the 2023 V2 update of Luminar T for Omniverse, which contains new traffic tools and an updated vehicle library, as well as new synchro enhancements. We've also just released a new updated version of the MicroStation Luminar T Designer companion product, which provides many new features for legacy file-based visualization workflows. So in conclusion, I'm sure everyone viewing this is either actively implementing or preparing for digital delivery. As part of this journey, we're here to help. We're here to help you achieve these transformational business benefits. The way forward here is not to abandon what you're doing with ProjectWise, but to extend it by adopting a data-centric file-friendly approach implemented using high-performance teams. We think ProjectWise powered by iTwin provides a great foundation for moving forward that leverages your existing investments, has feature-rich tools and capabilities to help validate your designs and help you minimize and mitigate project risks, and delivers industry-proven results to maximize your project returns. Thank you again for your time and attention. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.